Hello everyone, in this video we will see how to install Apache HQBD server on your windows and link it with the Flask application. Let's start. In the description I have attached a link over here. Just go through the link and download this file. Apache for Win64. I have already downloaded it. Just extract it and you will see a folder named Apache in there. Just copy this Apache folder to your C drive. Just paste it over here. Just paste it over here. I've already pasted it over here. Now, you will see in Apache 24 bin and you will see there is an http.exe file. So, this is the file that you will be working with. So, what you have to do is open the command prompt as an administrator. Now, just type in the path where the http.exe is there httpd. Now, you have to write minus k and install. This is the first step. You only have to do this once. Now the HTTP has been installed on your local. Now, when your HTTP is installed, now you have to write again minus k start. Your Apache server will start. However, this is not able to open the logs because it is not permitted for the stop sockets because I have to stop my own service. That is why. Uh, when I stop the service, now if I write start, it starts. However, now if you want to link your Apache to your Python, what you have to do is uh, load your Flask application. Let's say your Flask application over here. So my Flask application is just does this, and I have written app dot run over here. Um, I have to install a WSGI module for it. In order to install it, I'll just go to my environments and activate it. And write pip install mod wsgi. It has already been installed for me. Now, your second step is you have to write the wsgi script for it. Now, for that, you have to import sys, import os, and then sys.path.append the path where your Flask application is. So, for me, the Flask application is over here. So, I have appended the path over here. And then from the Flask application, the app basically you have to import the app. Why? Why is an app? Because I have defined my variable for the Flask as app, and then as any word as application or something, and then the secret key, uh, whatever you want, anything which or A B C anything. Now, as your app dot wsgi has been created, now a second step is to link that app dot wsgi to the Apache, so that uh, it would load in the Apache. Now, go to the Apache folder and go to the conf. In conf, you will see http.conf. In here, you have to create load file, which one? The Python through which the virtual environment you're working on. But you will not find the DLL file in the virtual environment. Where you'll find the, find the DLL file is where the Python has been installed. For me, like I say, go to the Python 3.7 open file. And I again go to the location and here I can see the Python 37 DLL. So I have added the file over here. Now in order to load module WSGI module, I'll tell it where is my WSGI module. So I installed the WSGI module in my virtual environment. When I go to my virtual environment, uh, give me a sec, I'll go to my virtual environment, environment and library, site packages, and I'll see mod wsgi server and here my mod wsgi module is here so uh, that with path i type it over here now my wsgi python home is the environment basically so i have cr i have entered all my paths over here now this is one thing that i am telling it to load which particular python and which wsgi module it has to work with now I have to create the config for the mod WSGI. Now, to, in order to create, I have created a new file named app.config and I have imported that an app.config in my http.conf. I have written include conf, conf slash app.conf. Why conf slash app.conf? Because in the conf itself, I've created app.conf over here. So, uh, when I have imported the app.conf and what do I write in here? I said WSGI application group 
and I tell it it is global. What is my virtual host? It's as AT server name 127.0.0.1 basically local host. My WSJ script alias slash. I'll tell you in a minute why slash is over here. And then the path of my uh, WSJ file that I created. Which file? The file that I created is this one. Okay. Now in the directory I'm saying the flask app where my flask application is there this directory I'm saying it options follow system links allow override none and require all granted granted and that's all now in the HTTP claw what I have to do is I have to tell it which port it has to listen so basically Apache being loaded to port 80 and my server name as 127.0.0.1 so basically port 80 over here also when I run my Apache my app works but in another port it won't work because I have defined my port for Apache as 80 so 80 is the default port if you don't mention 80 it works as 80 over here now I told you what does this slash means so basically this slash uh, is the app route um, let's say this get is uh, my flask application app route but for flask for the apache i have to tell it what app route it has to follow so let's say i am saying app over here and if i restart my apache server I restart my apache server see it doesn't read it why because i have to tell my apache server is on app now it works so this slash works as the app route basic app route for the apache itself i've linked the code in the github just check it out 